All right, hi friends and golfers. We're going to look at uh, some difference here is here. Uh, Eric Silver, EJS Golf, EJSGolf.com. <clears throat> We're summertime here and a couple weeks ago here. So what I really want to, you to focus on in this is we're going to focus more on um, what happens later on in his swing um, that I think is most important here when we're watching this thing. So this is the old one, okay? I just want to watch, have you watch this kind of from the top a little bit. You know, it's interesting to see his head in this one. I mean, his head is in the left and one that's new. It's probably two weeks ago. The where, Now where he's at, it's pretty much fixed finally. We got his thorax, thorax stopping, you know, coming so forward, which is bringing his head forward. But if you just watch this on the way down, look at his head go so far forward. Now, what I want to start focusing on is that knee and kind of what the hips are doing and where the club is getting behind him here. So look at his left leg. It hasn't straightened at all. I don't think it has yet. Now it's straightened. Okay. So power source wise, terrible. Um, he's not using it at all. So he's just kind of wailing at it coming you know, way forward and then just using some talent to get to it here, which, you know, he does have, he does have a lot of talent. So, um, I want to focus here on the big differences now that are happening, you know, um, more on the downswing here. So you're still going to see head go a little forward, although not nearly as bad, but let's focus big time on this left leg. So here he is about to the delivery position. Now this one doesn't have as many frames per second, but we can still see it. So right here, he's almost to the delivery position. Now we're gonna look at his left leg now straightening. And now it's straightened. Look at the difference of that move and look how his body is here at impact or po right post impact first. Let's get to this one. That would be about the same, right? Okay, so look at these two here. You can see the head is further back here um, than this one, but the you know just the structure of his body uh, and what he had done with his leg here is just so much better, and the strength of it that um, the power gains from it, and more of it, more than anything, just the stability of the club face for him um, has been huge. Okay, so those legs were kind of um, before. Um, I would say not, you know, not an asset for sure, but we're causing problems. But now he's come a long way with having that leg work for him to give him even more power. So huge changes that don't happen, you know, overnight. He's worked a long time to make this happen, and we didn't start just working on making that leg do this. Um, there's been other steps, you know, between that to get to where he's was able to allow this to happen. And in fact, there wasn't even, there was talk of it, but not even, and you, we didn't do lessons where it was exactly focused, just on, okay, let's get the left knee straight from, you know, basically, um, you know, P6 to P7, let's get it straightened out so we can push away and boom, boom, do that. It wasn't, it just wasn't ever that. So um, I'll show you some iron ones of him later, which are, I think are even more impressive because in the iron ones, he would have his hands when he hit the ball, his hands would be like back here, and the you know obviously the club would be like this when he hit the ball. So now his hands are like up front with it, and uh, and it's just an amazing change. So, anyways, folks, uh, thank you for watching. Eric Schulberg, EGS Golf, EGSGolf.com. Thanks.